A great big God bless you. My name is Paula. You're viewing Faith in 5. As you know, this program is designed to stir your faith in 5 minutes. You want to invite a friend, tell a friend to watch uh, Paula Bunsen Ministries Faith in 5. This program is brought to you once a week, usually on a Thursdays. Amen. And we want to get straight into the word. We are reading from an all familiar psalm. It's popular and it's known by a majority. It's known by many. That will be Psalm 23. Let's go into the scriptures right away. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. What's a shepherd? As we know, a shepherd likened unto one who leads a flock or sheep, a, a, a great uh, herd of sheep. And so that shepherd, even referring to um, not just old school, but that's the way, would usually hold a staff. So you want to bear that in mind. Who is a shepherd? What's the meaning of shepherd? You can think of this main factor, one who leads, one who leads me. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. So it's telling me in the psalm on, from on top, when I make the Lord Jesus, my shepherd. This is the benefits that follows. Verse 3, he restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. You see, for the, for the name of God not to be defamed, for his name to look good, not just look good, but to stand as it is validated as the name above every other name, he will cause you to walk in that right path. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me because you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I'll tell you something about that rod and that staff. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me. Some versions has it surely goodness and mercy. It does. It's, it's one and the same because without the love, you cannot have mercy. But when that mercy is applied, you know that love is present. Amen, somebody. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. How, how long? Forever. Now let me give you those points that you need for yourself. When I make Jesus my shepherd, what's a shepherd again? One who rules over me. One who I trust and entrust to guide me and steer me in the right path. You see, I don't trust anybody else. I don't want to give that, that, sort of a, that sort of responsibility to anyone else because I know that the God of all gods, that the King of all kings, I know that the shepherd of all shepherds is really the right one who is able to, to lead me in the first place. When I make Jesus my shepherd, I will not lack or be in want. You say, Paul, well, all of us have a need. Even I have a need. I'm still in need right now. I'm a Christian and I have a need. Well, what this word really means is you're not going to be full when you meet the shepherd today, for today, no. Everything takes a growing process. But what I do know is when I make you my shepherd, now I will be processing full and satisfied. When, when I make Jesus my shepherd, I will be satisfied on all sides. Only he is the one who is able to satisfy me full in every area of my life, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. He is the only one, the shepherd, the shepherd, that is able to fool me that I will not be in lack, need, or want. He is the one who is able to satisfy me. And you see that word satisfy is very strong. It tells me that I will not want it any way better than what you give me. It will be enough. Not only enough, but I will be truly pleased and satisfied with what you are handing me. God will give you rest where the land is flourishing. He makes me to lie down in green pastures, right? That's what the scripture says. God will give you rest where, where the land, wherever you are at, is flourishing is flourishing in wealth. Green pastures tell me that everything is good here. 
there's no um, dry ground. Green pastures tell me I'll also be flourishing. I will be in wealth. I will have comfort and safety. God will lead you where you will find peace on all sides. He leads me by quiet waters, still waters. What does that mean? Still waters tell me there's no confusion. There's no war. There's no trouble. There is no, um, no one is ponging down my door. God will lead you where you will find peace on all sides. That's what quiet waters mean. No trouble, no confusion, no, no uh, war. He will restore you wherever you are broken down. That's what it says in the scripture. He restores my soul. You see, the writer is saying he restores my soul. It tells me that before I came to know you, I was broken down and I was mashed up and I was beaten and bruised and battered. And when I made you my shepherd, you were able to restore me in every way. You restored my heart, you restored my finances, you restored my economy. You restore me from this broken down position. Amen. He will restore you wherever you are broken down. I, I lost a lot and more is going to be restored back onto me. He will show you the right path to walk on safe ground. Amen. Amen. And that's what the scripture says. He, he, um, he guides me in paths of righteousness. He will show you the right path to walk on safe ground. His, that's why you need a shepherd. That's why you need this shepherd. Because this shepherd will keep your feet out of trouble. For his name not to be defamed. And he will do it just for his name's sake even. Amen. When death comes with a threat, you will have no fear. Yea, that though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Even when Satan comes to rile up and appear to be putting me in a, a position in life, where I'm gripped with fear, the writer, the son as David is saying, I will have no fear because why? Because I know that you are with me and I could walk through this dark valley. And that's the, the thing about having the Lord Jesus as a shepherd. He will carry you through and he will bring you out and you will not die in the dark. Amen, somebody. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. What does that mean? You see, the rod it's the same staff that the shepherd holds. The shepherd sometimes use that staff as a rod. What are the, that rod means? To correct me and whip me when I'm going wrong. Wow. <laughs> and staff means to lead, to direct. So the rod is for correction. The staff is for direction. And the both of them use that same rod using those distinctive um, uh, positions comforts me. How do you mean it comforts me? It keeps me out of trouble. God will make a boast in you. He will cause you to feast in front of your enemies. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I want to say to you, beloved, that a time is going to come. You may appear to be under now. You may appear to be suffering whatever the challenge, whatever the circumstance or situation. Whoever did you wrong in your life, not that you hate them, but God is going to lift you up in a time to come and he will cause you to feast. He will show your enemies that you are surviving, not just surviving, that you are making it now and that you have been lifted up, living royal and in wealth. That's what a feast means. With your anointing, I will experience the overflow. You anoint my head with oil. That's very important. You anoint my head with oil. And from the time you get that anointing, you have to understand, you will experience the overflow. It will not be uh, too little, just enough. It will be more than enough. And let's close now for I've definitely overstepped my time. God has assigned to me everything that is good with his love. And it follows me all, the, all my days. Amen. Uh, surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. Amen. With Jesus... As your shepherd, salvation is sure. Where, where do we get that from? At the end, he said, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What does that mean? With, if you make Jesus your shepherd, salvation is sure. Salvation in every part of your life, even for the earth, for what you are going through right now, salvation means that rescue is coming, help is coming, deliverance is coming. Be blessed, beloved, and share this word with someone. Amen. Bye for now.